All right, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been working quite a bit on the boat, but a lot of sanding, so not a lot to show on video. But what I do have here, kind of bring you up to speed. I got my centerboard or dagger board, whatever you want to call it. I have first coat of varnish on all these parts. There's the rudder cassette, the rudder blade. I got my hatch cover. Uh, I mounted my El Cheapo lock for that, uh, that hole right there that goes on the door which will then be mounted to the front. Uh, the front, we'll call it a cabin. <laughs> Some of my kids can actually fit in there. Tonight, I put the first coat of varnish on the boat. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, it's pretty rough, there's lots of bugs out. I have the lights on in my garage, so um, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be sending out some bugs for sure. So I hope it's not too rough, but uh, I got about 30 more coats of varnish to go <clears throat> till I get the finish I want. I'm just kidding. Maybe, uh, maybe five. I'm not really sure. We'll just see how it goes. I want it to be water protected from the water. Um, I should say more protected from the sun as far as the varnish is concerned. Everything has been coated with epoxy so it should all be waterproof and then the varnish function is to protect it from uv so anyway uh let's see i'm trying to think what's new other than a lot of finishing oh yeah i got the mass step on there or a partner or whatever it's called that turned out pretty well there's that I made some uh, mahogany wood plugs for those screws. I ordered some silicon brass screws online and used those. There's two on each side coming up from the bottom and then you see the four there. And then same thing, I got the keel on, which I don't think was on last time I made a video. It obviously is underneath the boat, but there's the screws, one, two, and three in the back. <laughs> kind of wish I would have wood plugged those, but it was too late when I thought that. So that's done. I got my out whales on, which I'm not sure was on. Not sure they were on last video. Pretty happy with how those came out. Uh, those are mahogany two pieces. Luckily the local uh, hardwood dealer has some pretty clear pieces. So I was able to use two, two pieces with no scarf joints. And same with the vertical grain dug for thwart rails on the sides. Those are all one piece. I feel kind of spoiled. And then um, one of you made a comment you didn't know I was sailing the boat. Maybe I didn't make that clear. <laughs> That's actually my number one goal is to sail this boat. Um, I have some kids, so I know they're going to want to hopefully want to sail, but also motor. So that's why I have the motor. Maybe... Maybe I'll have enough power to pull a tube or something. I'm not really sure. Um, it'll be fun either way. I did get a... I got the mast done. I got it tapered. Came out pretty good. Not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you can see here there's three pieces laminated together. And... <clears throat> Again, pretty clear wood. I didn't have to do any scarf joints on those on those pieces, so I'm pretty happy about that. Those are Sitka Spruce that I got at the same hardwood dealer in the Denver area. I am using Epiphanes, or Epiphanes, however you want to say it, varnish. I have a badger hair brush, and I'm thinning it out with their thinner that they make. I didn't want a chance using cheaper stuff although it was very tempting. Uh, I'm so far happy. I have two coats on the mast. You know, I said before I have one coat on the centerboard. I actually have two on this one side. Everything you see here on the bench is two uh, with a ways to go. I also was able to drill. I drilled out my drain hole 
right there, which uh, turned out pretty well. So that sleeve will go in there. And then there's one of those just regular old rubber plugs that goes in there. You twist it and, uh, and lock it down. So that should be good. I'm trying to think what else. I'm not sure if you guys saw the centerboard hole. There it is, the redesigned centerboard hole. Um, I think it's going to work well. So we'll see. There's a little bit of play. Uh, we'll just see once the board goes in in the water how it sits. If it sits flush with the top of the deck or not. I still need to make some sort of a plug for that like one of you suggested for when I'm motoring. So I don't get water shooting out of there. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do there. Uh, got the lock on the hatch right there. Got the little plate in there. I had to modify that. And I'm trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much it. Looking around, I don't see anything. Uh, anything I haven't mentioned before. There's my fuel fitting receptacle. So these two are gonna go in there. This will be in the back. I have a barb fitting that goes into that. And then this will screw in in the inside of that right in there. And the barb fitting will hook up to my fuel line, which I don't know if you're able to see it. Yeah, probably. There it is in there. Standing by in there. And then it runs through the seat over here in the hatch where I'm going to have my fuel tank and there it is in the cabin so that's where I'm at tomorrow hopefully I did one uh, coat of epoxy underneath those out whales there and it's just not dry enough yet to sand I'm getting a little rolled up gummy pieces of epoxy instead of actual dust. So it's a little tougher to sand, so I figured I'd flip it back over and uh, varnish the inside while the outside's finished drying. And then uh, maybe tomorrow I'll flip it over, finish sanding those and get one coat on the outside. So at least it'll look good from the street if people are walking by. <laughs> anyway, I think that's pretty much it. So. If anything else exciting happens, I'll let you know. Oh, one more thing. I have my boom here. It's a sprit boom. I got it glued together. It's that piece right there. I still need to shape that. So um, with my family, most of my work happens at night. So that's also when I'm not able to run power tools to plane that down and joint it. So I just got to find a period during the day where I can... I can work on that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That and then the tiller handle. After that, I think I'm done making parts, which under all this stuff here is my hardboard template for the, uh, for the tiller. So I gotta get that done too. I'm not sure if I wanna go fancy and have multiple layers of wood like some boats have, but I don't know. I'm starting to get antsy. I want to get done. So, all right. I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.